Good morning, and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade of graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, New York, North Carolina, Rhode Island, Vermont, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, Arkansas, Michigan, Wisconsin, California, Minnesota, Oregon, Kansas, West Virginia, Nevada, Nebraska, Colorado, Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, Washington, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Hawaii, District of Columbia, Puerto Rico, Guam, American Samoa, Northern Mariana Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands. State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of Recruit Training Command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter midway ceremony of the hall and are announced in the following order.
Ladies and gentlemen, you may be seated. Thank you. Divisions. Right. Face. Section leaders, fall out and collect outer garments. Divisions. Counter. March. For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the review stand, and we pass this as a courtesy to our reviewing officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated and off the drill deck. The photographers you will see on deck throughout the review are the official photographers of our crew, training, command.
division commanders, left or right, face, hurry, rest. rest. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Josh Jones, Recruit Training Command's Drill Division Officer. I would like to welcome you to today's pass and review. Today you will see five divisions comprised of 357 sailors participating in their graduation ceremony and soon to join the most powerful Navy in the world. Please draw your attention to the unit position at center deck. There is the review commander and staff. The review commander is responsible for conducting the graduation ceremony. Today's review commander is Seaman Recruit Michael Lopez from Louisville, Kentucky. Let's give him a hand, folks. Performing today is the staff unit on their seventh week of training, the triple threat unit on their ninth week of training, and the state flags unit on their tenth and final week of training. These units are comprised entirely of recruits. During their night of arrival, recruits are placed into divisions of 88 personnel and assigned division commanders. Recruit division commanders form the backbone of recruit training and are key individuals in the life of every recruit. Division commanders must serve as counselors, disciplinarians, administrators, and military leaders. Above all, they must show themselves as outstanding examples of military bearing, appearance, attitude, and behavior. Each division also has a recruit chief petty officer. This senior recruit supervises the divisional staff positions and leads the division in the absence of their division commanders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce the graduating divisions, their division commanders, and recruit chief petty officers. As I introduce each division, they will raise the competitive flags they have earned throughout their training. As I introduce each recruit chief petty officer, the flag representing their home state will also be raised. Please hold your applause until all introductions have been completed. I will be starting from their right. Division 151. One. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Takesha Johnson. Petty Officer First Class Ryan Shiobalki. Petty Officer First Class Kyra Griffin. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Landon Holbrook from Knoxville, Tennessee. Division 1, 5, 3. Commanded by Petty Officer First Class, Ryan Moulter. Petty Officer First Class, Moises Beltran. Petty Officer First Class, Marcus Flake. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Jack Dorado from Round Lake, New York. Division 1, 5, 4. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Joshua Rivara Brooke. Petty Officer First Class, Nicholas Sanchez. Petty Officer First Class, Jason Moore. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Airman Booker Sanders from Midlothian, Texas. Division 155. Five. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Willie McGee. Petty Officer First Class, Robert Schwartzberger. Petty Officer First Class, Dylan Sutherland. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Corbin Bradley from Spartanburg, South Carolina. Division 929. Nine. Commanded by Chief Petty Officer Tiffany Baker. Petty Officer First Class, Randall Truitt. Petty Officer First Class, Dakota Saunders. And the Recruit Chief Petty Officer, Seaman Apprentice Alba Cortosar from El Paso, Texas. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Recruit Training Command, we congratulate these Division Commanders and Recruit Chief Petty Officers on a job well done.
In a moment, you will see the ceremonial sideboards, boats, and honor guard take their places for arrival honors. This time honor tradition is our formal greeting to this morning's reviewing officer. One such tradition is the gun salute. A gun salute is used to mark an event or to render honors. Today's reviewing officer will receive arrival honors to include a 17 gun salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand for the arrival honors, marching on of the colors, the national anthem, and the invocation. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As we fit in the importance of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show these sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard. Please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party. Service Training Command arriving. Right.
General Counsel, Counsel Department of the Navy. All right. All right. Present Ox
Let us pray. Divine source of dedication and toughness, we humbly offer our gratitude to you for bringing us together to celebrate the newest sailors of the world's greatest name. Over the past 10 weeks, each of you has faced challenges head on. With our divine protector serving as the wind in your sails, urging you towards mission accomplishment, you've experienced immense personal and professional growth. You enter the gates of RTC as civilians and are leaving as ready guardians of peace. God, help our newest sailors remember that they did not succeed on their own. You instill in our recruit division commanders wisdom, dedication, and discipline, which they skillfully shared with our newest sailors. You remain with our sailors' loving family members, soothing their worries and increasing their support. Divine source of gumption, we ask that you remain with our sailors as they embark on the next season of their naval career. Help them tap into all sources of strength and dedication while they experience the best prize life has to offer, working hard at work worth doing. May it be your will that their time at RTC serves as a stepping stone that launches these holy souls into a career filled with meaningful work and mission accomplishment. Amen. Oh, 
The board is reporting, sir. Very well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Captain Ken Frober, Commanding Officer of Recruit Training Command. Welcome to your Navy quarterback. I'd like to welcome all our family and friends attending this recruit graduation and those watching live from around the world. Joining us today is our reviewing officer, the Honorable John Sean Cobb, General Counsel of the Department of the Navy. I'd also like to acknowledge staff from our fleet sponsors, Commander Navy Medicine Readiness and Training Command, sponsoring Division 151, USS New Orleans LPD 18, Commander Submarine Squadron 19, sponsoring Division 929, and Sub Squadron 19, so Commander Submarine Squadron 19, sponsor Division 155. Our fleet sponsor program allows recruits to connect with sailors and Navy commands from around the world with valuable mentoring motivation while here at RTC. I would also like to welcome all our veterans here today. Thank you for your dedicated service to our country. For all our veterans, please stand so we give you a round of applause. Thank you for your service to the country. Division 929 graduates today. There are state flags waiting for you, providing the 50 state flags, District of Columbia, and U.S. territorial flags, drum corps, and color guard. Please be join me in giving them and the four other outstanding graduating divisions here today a round of applause. The staff of Recruit Training Command is committed to providing the United States Navy with basic training, physically fit, smartly disciplined sailors, such as those standing before you here today. These sailors have successfully completed 10 rigorous weeks of demanding training and have earned the right to wear the uniform recognized around the world as a symbol of freedom. I would also like to take a moment to now introduce you, their friendly and friends, to your new Navy family. As you reconnect with your sailors shortly, and navigate your new journey together. We invite you to learn more about your Navy family resources at here in Great Lakes and around the world. Search the internet for Navy Boot Camp, Navy Family, and check out our website for more about your Navy family opportunities. Today's graduates serve as a bedrock of American Naval Forces around the world and will join other American sailors to defend freedom and liberty against those who threaten. I can say with pride as training group is ready to graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 357 of the newest, sharpest sailors in the United States. Now. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in the five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. The Honorable Sean Coffey will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our Commanding Officer, Captain Frober, and Commander, Naval Service Training Man, Rear Admiral Matt.
for achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Airman Angelina Wynn, Division 151 from Arcadia, California, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Airman Wynn receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty. Fireman Apprentice Cameron Beachy, Division 153 from Palm Bay, Florida, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Fireman Apprentice Beachy is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Division 153 from Kyle, Texas, is the winner of the United Service Organization Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Construction Manager Princess Garcia is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organization. Well done, sailor. From Midlothian, Texas, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Airman Sanders is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Corbin Bradley, Division 155, from Spartanburg, South Carolina. For demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism, Seaman Bradley is awarded a letter of commendation from our commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Hunter Anderson, Division 155, from Hayesville, North Carolina, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places him at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. He is awarded a flag letter of commendation. Seaman Anderson, the staff of recruit training command salutes you as the finest of this group of graduates. Well done, sailor. Council. Good morning, Admiral. Thank you, 
vediamo. such outstanding individual accomplishments by these sailors with a round of three cheers. The adjutant will lead all graduating divisions in three cheers for this morning's award winners. Ladies and gentlemen, I have another round of applause for our award recipients. Excellent. I have the distinct honor this morning of introducing our reviewing officer, the Honorable John D. Sean Cox, General Counsel of the Department of the Navy. A native of New York who was sworn into office in 2022 as the 24th General Counsel of the Department of the Navy after his confirmation by the United States Senate. He leads more than 1,100 attorneys and professional support staff in 140 offices worldwide. After graduating from the U.S. Naval Academy, he completed Naval Flight Officer training and served eight years on active duty in assignments, uh, including assignments as a P-3 Orion Mission Commander hunting Soviet submarines during the Cold War, and the Special Military Assistant Personal Aid to Vice President George H.W. Bush. Mr. Coffey transitioned to the Naval Reserve and returned to New York where he practiced law for over 35 years, including several years as an Assistant United States Attorney in the Southern District of New York. He served in the Naval Reserve for 18 years, serving as commanding officer of both the Reserve P-3 Charlie Squadron and the Reserve Component of the Enterprise Carrier Battle Group and Staff Officer in the Office of the Secretary of Defense, Reserve Affairs. He retired at the rank of Captain in 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a warm Recruit Training Command welcome for the Honorable John Cuffey. Thank you, Captain. Uh, it's great to be with you. Admiral Mattingly, my fellow P3 Bubba, uh, I'm just really, really thrilled to be here. Uh, I'd like to add my welcome to the families and friends and attendants here today. Uh, I'm just delighted to be with you all here on this fine Navy day. We gather to salute the outstanding men and women of Divisions 151, 153, 154, 154, Five and Performance Division 929. They have just completed the biggest challenge of their lives here at the Great Lakes Training, Recruit Training Center, and they have earned the right to be called Sailors of the United States Navy. The men and women standing in formation before you have been stoutly challenged in many ways over the past 10 weeks. While most of their friends were back home at the mall or at the beach or cruising around town, these young Americans pursued a different path. Tackling water survival, firefighting, damage control, small arms training, learning how to wear a uniform, how to march as a unit, don a gas mask, and render a proper salute, and surviving battle stations, a crucible event that they took uh, and completed uh, last week. In short, over the past 10 weeks, they embraced every challenge and obstacle thrown their way and fought tenaciously not only to succeed, but to thrive. To our graduates, I look across your ranks and I see such pride and professionalism. I see the confidence of men and women who have overcome adversity and achieved successes that did not come easily. I see men and women worthy of becoming sailors and the greatest Navy ever to sail the sea. To you new sailors, I say thank you. Thank you for stepping up and raising your hand and saying, I will go, I will serve my country. I will, if necessary, go in harm's way to defend freedom and our way of life. Thank you for following through on that commitment and pushing yourselves and each other to meet the challenges here at Great Lakes. The fleet eagerly awaits you and you have done your part to prepare for the challenges that await you there. To the instructors and staff here at Recruit Training Center Great Lakes, I say thank you as well. Thank you for taking under your wing the raw civilians who arrived here 10 weeks ago 
and fashioning them into warfighting American sailors. You were chosen for this critical assignment because you are the very best role models and leaders in our Navy. You have worked hard to prepare these men and women to enter the fleet, ready on day one to support the critical missions of our Navy around the globe. And I know, given the demands of the Navy, that you're taking on an extra burden, that you're going to be doing even more work, the Red Rovers in particular. I want you to know that I know about that, we know about that, we appreciate what you're doing, and we thank you for it and applaud you for it. Well done. To the families. To the families who raised these fine men and women, I say thank you on behalf of the United States Navy and a grateful nation. Your love and support helped fashion these men and women who are now sailors standing before us today. You imbued them with the call to service, the grit to persevere, and the love of country. We will call on, on you to continue to support them as they enter the fleet. Thank you in advance for the love and support you will continue to give them in the months and years to come. Now, I want to close by giving some advice to our new sailors, and this comes from an old salt. In two weeks' time, it'll be exactly 50 years to the day that I first raised my hand to serve my country as a 17-year-old at the Naval Academy. And over 50 years, I've learned a few things, and I just want to share with you a couple of bits of advice. Strive every day to embody the Navy concepts of honor, courage, and commitment. Strive every day to earn the respect that comes with the term shipmate. That term will become so special to you if it isn't already in the coming years. Take pride in being part of something bigger than yourself, of being a member of a service dedicated to preserving our freedom and our way of life. And finally, enjoy the ride. There will be times that are where it's tough and it may not seem like a lot of fun, and that there's not much to be joyful about. There will be highs and lows, and it will, but it will always be interesting and something to write home about. You are now beginning the next phase of your Navy adventure. I promise you that whether you do a single tour or you become a lifer, you will always look back with pride on the fact that you wore the uniform of a United States sailor. So bravo Zulu, may God bless each of you and your families. You are ready to join the fleet. I look forward to serving alongside you in the service of the United States of America. Thank you very much. Sean Coffey will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he'll be joined on the drill deck by your commanding officer, Captain Frobert. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
flags. Post. Section leaders fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate 8 towards the train station parking lot. Naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the natural ceremony. I say again, naturalization sailors, please report to the chapel at the conclusion of today's ceremony with your families for the naturalization ceremony. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this Liberty Corps! 